I haven't prepared a slide because I'm talking about Peel Park, and if you look out that window, you can see Peel Park. Um, I don't know whether those doors open, but if you want fresh air in the break, if we get a break, because we're all over running, um, then go and, go and have a look at Peel Park. Um, I would say that Friends of Peel Park, uh, we often beat ourselves up a bit about how ineffective we are and what a small group of people we are. Um, because it is quite a struggle getting people involved. Um, particularly, Peel Park doesn't have necessarily the history of, it isn't surrounded by a bunch of houses who feel a sense of ownership. You know, it's not that kind of park. And it's over the years been neglected. So I think the first thing I would say about Friends of Peel Park is that our first role really was lobbying. Um, so when I moved from sort of Angworthy area down to here, um, I was very aware that Peel Park's a fantastic asset. But two, the conversations with local people tend to go one of two ways. Either, where's that? <laughs> because they didn't know about it. Um, or, I went there once and I felt scared. I'm not going again. It was overgrown. It was dark. It was scary. Um, so the the thing that we, a group of us locally, were doing initially was just lobbying to say, what about Peel Park? And there was lots of um, council putting in bids for Buell Hill, which were going, won't start on Buell Hill Park. Eh? <laughs> the history of things going wrong there in terms of bids and, and investment and things. But um, we were saying, well, look, if you're not going to do anything with, Peel, uh, with Buell Hill, what about Peel Park? There are now thousands more people living close to Peel Park than there were. And it's under investment. It's been neglected for years. Let's do something. So Heritage, op um, Heritage Bid was put in. Heritage Lottery Fund Bid was put in. I have to be honest and say it's mainly been council-led. You know, there's been talk about should we be more, you know, Friends of Peel Park leading the way. Um, most of the work has been done by the council. Um, but we have, um, as Friends of Peel Park, managed to keep things, I think, um, more rooted, more on track for local people. And that we would see as our role. Um, so a couple of successes I would would cite. Um, there is, because we're getting money, we've got money, it does look fantastic. How many of you have been in Peel Park? Not for Brilliant. a while. How many people haven't been in Peel Park for ages? Mm, not for a while. Check it out, because <laughs> it does look fantastic compared to... And Dawn and, and her team of um, um, grounds people, whatever you um, yeah, do a fantastic job. Uh, it looks great. Um, the money for it has come from Heritage Lottery. So it was, uh, there were three parks opened on the first day as the first publicly owned parks in this country. And Peel Park was one of them. So it's historically significant. Um, but the, the money has come from lottery. Uh, so there has been, from heritage lottery, and there's been a tension all the way along about preserving heritage against kind of contemporary use. And that's where I think the Friends of Peel Park have had a role in lobbying. So we've had some, some failures. Um, a lot of money was spent on Joseph Brotherton's statue. It is great, and I love the quote from him. Um, but we would have rather seen some of that money spent in other ways. So we lost that one. But we haven't got a bandstand. Can I hear a hooray? <laughs> Because bandstands can be great, but there isn't a bandstand in Peel Park. There hasn't been for years. The, lot, the heritage advisor wanted us to install a bandstand. He thought, you know, there used to be a bandstand, there should be a bandstand. Let's say. The money that would have gone into the bandstand was a lot, right? And we, as local people, wanted play equipment. Mm. You know, because Brilliant. that will bring people into the park. You can have the best heritage that there is, but if they don't come to the park, they ain't going to see the heritage. So we wanted, you know, so that's the kinds of arguments that we've had. Not arguments, 
<laughs> discussions <laughs> that we've had. And, and on that one, we did win that one. And, and uh, to be fair, the council were on our side with that as well. It was the heritage advisor that wanted the bandstand. I think um, another thing that I've ju just recently, we've got somebody from um, Parkrun here, haven't we? Have we got somebody from Parkrun? No, we don't have the Brilliant. So, one of the things that, that I've been suggesting for a long time is that Peel Park ought to have a parkrun. Because, and, and I've, I've been a bit, three of us, three of us on the Friends of Peel Park run through Peel Park. That's part of our love of the park, is that we use it for running. Um, and there's been a bit of a, like, oh, it's not going to work, it's not going to work. And we've asked for volunteers, nobody's volunteered. And I'm like, when did we ask for volunteers? Let's ask again then. Um, and to be fair, Andy Jones from Salford um, Community Leisure um, met with us and we've kind of been promoting it. And I think we've got a momentum going now where we're hoping that in November we're going to start a park run. And that will bring, you know, play equipment and a park run will both bring people into the green space. And it then grows from there. And it's about getting used to space. And I've probably had me five minutes. Yeah. Can I just ask you something before you go? What's the security like in Peel Park now? Well, because look, kids are frightened to go in there. One said to me, uh, if they went to play football, they might get abducted. I mean, I, They're scared of walking. Yeah, I mean, I guess you could be abducted the anyway. The, the, key thing with, the key thing with parks, I mean, back in the day, Salford University used to tell students don't go in Park, Peel Park because you'll be raped. Yeah, they, they lift and it of course, and, and, but, yeah. and, you know, they don't go in Peel Park, didn't go in Peel Park, um, and therefore nobody was going in Peel Park, therefore it was dark and isolated and nobody was safe. Now, people are going in Peel Park, people are using it, and that's what makes it much safer. Well, they've and, lit it up, but yeah. little kids without an adult won't go. Well, maybe little kids ought to, really maybe their them. parents ought to take them. Like, well, I said that and I got dirty looks. <laughs> I mean, if they're little, I mean, I wouldn't have wanted my kids when they're really little going to Peel Park on their own, but they grew up going to Peel Park um, and they, they enjoyed it and they loved it. I think that is what actually puts a lot of people up. Yeah, but I mean, that's true of any of our parks, but it was particularly true of Peel Park that not enough people used it. Therefore, it felt dangerous. Now, we've got increasing numbers all the time. Can I, can I just... Oh. Can I, I'm 